We are now on air. Time for a total takeover. It's finally here. Finally here. Welcome to a new episode. It's about to go down. Peace and blessings, everybody. George George Julie, Dan Adams, a.k.a. the social conservative, the DA, and the prosecutor. And this is the political geek. Go ahead and get right into it. Saul Alinsky and the left today. That's right. I know it's Monday morning. I'm running late for work. I haven't had my cup of coffee yet. And I'm already getting deep. But when I record these videos, they are impromptu. There is no planning. And it just so happened, I was reading an article last night about Saul Alinsky. And I figured, you know what? It just popped in my head. I was, I was thinking about things. You know how you do when you wake up in the morning. You think of things from the prior day, even though you should be kind of pushing that aside and thinking about the goodness and grace that God has given us right now. And I'm about to do that. First and foremost, giving honor to God and to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for allowing me to see another day. I am thankful. Saul Alinsky, ladies and gentlemen. Saul Alinsky. If you don't know who he is, look him up. But to give him a give you a, this, a quick little precursor as to who this man was, if you look up on his Wikipedia page, the first sentence says that he was a community organizer. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. You know that, you know that phrase, community organizer. So he was a leftist, radical leftist, radical leftist community organizer. Ding, 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 think about that, that phrase as I'm going to do this, okay? Leftist radical community organizer in the 70s wrote a book called Rules for Radicals. And if you go through those rules for radicals and apply them to today's left in America, today's Democrat Party in America, today's liberals in America, there are so many things within those rules that apply to them today, it is unbelievable. So I guess over the years, being a leftist liberal radical does not change with the times. And you can apply those rules for radicals that Saul Alinsky wrote about in 1971. You can apply them to today. But let's talk about how these particular rules for radicals and apply them today. Just think if there was an internet that we have today back then, ladies and gentlemen. Lord have mercy. Just think about it. If they had, back then in the 70s, the internet that we have today, and Saul Alinsky's rules for radicals being pushed out like it can through the internet and social media and everywhere else, Lord, hashtag, Lord have mercy. So, when we look at the situation that we're in today, the leftist liberal numbnut moonbat lamestream media in control of the narrative being pushed out to the low information voter when you have a scenario, ladies and gentlemen, where the Republican Party, the GOP, sits on their asses basically every damn day and does not fight for us, does not fight for its own party, and does not, will not, won't even attempt to have a united front against the Democrat Party. You have Donald Trump who is the president of the United States, who, for most of us, wasn't our number one pick. But guess what? He has a lot of supporters. There's no one denying that. And for the most part, for these seven months almost now that he's been president, there's been some bumps in the road, no doubt about it. But the left in this country thought that when he became president, and was voted in president in November back in 2016, that the America as we know it and the world as we know it was no longer going to exist. 
we're still here. So let this liberal numbnut moonbats shut the F up. He just came back from the G20 summit, had his first meeting with Vladimir Putin, and the Saul Linskyites, aka the lamestream media and the Democrat Party, are doing everything within their power to belittle and now straight out lie, ladies and gentlemen, in regards to what happened, <coughs> excuse me, during this trip. You have videos being put out, propaganda, lies, in regards to handshakes and things of that nature. <coughs> Excuse me, supposedly the handshake he gave Vladimir Putin is AKA white power. Really, ladies and gentlemen, that is what the Saul Alinsky Rules for Radicals does. It puts out false, fake, lies, <laughs> information in order to shape the narrative for the low information voter out there to believe that Trump is this some racist, white supremacist, and everything else you could think of. <coughs> Boy, excuse me. I don't know why my throat is so dry right now. So I guess with that, I guess I'm gonna end this particular political heat for today. I only had one subject I wanted to talk about anyway, because it was on my mind. But as you go about your day, as I'm trying to get my throat together here and clear up the dryness, think about Saul Alinsky. If you don't know who he is, look him up. <coughs> I gave you a brief introduction as to who he was. Excuse me. But if you need to know some more, you know we have that wonderful internet out there. Look him up. Look up his rules for radicals. And go through the list. And see how they apply to today's society and today's leftist, liberal, numbnut, moonbat Democrat party. Because you'll be amazed. You'll be put back. You will be <laughs> utterly hit upside the head, ladies and gentlemen, as to how Saul Alinsky and Rules for Radicals applies to the Democrat and the liberal leftist moonbat lamestream media of today. As you go about your day, remember this. God is in control. Let Jesus take the wheel. And may God bless you and yours. Until next time, peace.